As local cases also increase, a new COVID-19 testing site is now up and running inside the Mahaffey Theater parking garage in St. Pete. But just in tonight, Pinellas County says the test site has closed its line actually early because of the high demand. It opens again tomorrow at 11 in the morning. And ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck explains why leaders do say this site can handle longer lines. Organizers at this site plan to administer 1,200 tests a day. They say they've stocked up on thousands of tests to meet the growing demand. Four hours before organizers opened the new test site, cars snaked around the theater, Dali Museum, and Albert Whitted Airport. It really shows the demand. It shows the interest. People are interested in stopping the spread of this virus. Raul Carvel made sure he was one of the first in line. I'm traveling soon, so I just want to make sure that uh, I am negative. The tests at the Mahaffey site are free. You don't need to have an appointment or a doctor's note, and you don't have to be a resident of Pinellas County to get tested. This is a massive site, more staffing, more tests available. We want people to come take advantage of it. It's really important. Um, hopefully the supply will meet the demand. That demand causing issues across the Bay Area. A BayCare site at Tropicana Field closed just an hour after opening last month when organizers ran out of supplies. A similar problem in Sarasota and Manatee counties also forced organizers to close a test site early there. In Hillsborough County, appointments for tests booked up weeks in advance. We're going to get as many people through here as fast as possible. The Mahaffey is the first site open at night and on the weekends. So while organizers expect big crowds, they say they're working with state leaders to secure ample supplies. People like Carvel can expect to get their results within five days. Just enough time, he says, to decide if he's safe enough to venture to Aruba. I'm very excited. Hopefully the results are negative and I get to travel there. This site will be open 11 to 7 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Reporting in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.